Hi everyone, welcome back to Careers, Joy and Sorrow for Every Industry. My name is Serene and I'm the host for this episode. So today our guest lecturer will be Miss Amy to share uh, uh, share with us her experience in this in her industry. So uh, for information, Miss Amy is our part-time lecturer in FCUC as well. So hi Miss Amy. Hello. To kickstart our conversation today, can you tell us a little bit how did you um involve in this field? Uh, you mean in graphic design? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, uh, you want the long story or the short story? Maybe the long story. <laughs> the long story is I've been always fascinated in um a lot of uh, designs and mm. what call it um drawing. When yeah. I was I was small, I like to draw and I like to do lots of uh you know lah character mm -hmm. designs and so on. And then um, however, when was I was uh going for my uh, diploma, I didn't go to straight to the graphic design. Yet. Oh, I went for a diploma in, in industrial chemistry. Oh, wow, <laughs> I did that. Yeah, yeah but uh, during my uh, a transition between my diploma and degree, I feel that I keep on drawing. I have a lot of ideas in drawing, so also I changed my career, I changed my uh, education into. Uh, Actually, on uh, graphic design. So you need to take another diploma for the design, or you can no. straight away change to. I actually because um, it's not common people doing that, but because oh. I already like graduated my uh, my diploma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, my diploma and so on, but uh, they kind of like it's kind of like a ex I don't know what is it, but I can transition it very well to oh. the graphic design. Wow, you have some talent <laughs> in there, yeah. So, uh, we have listened uh your education journey. So mm -hmm. now tell us a bit uh about your career, mm -hmm. uh, like your experience in this industry. So before, like you do the part time career, did you mm -hmm. did some job before? Oh yes, I do uh some in some jobs and industry. Mm -hmm. uh, at first, after my uh, graduation on my degree. Um, I strictly work with um, uh, all yeah, all Excel Trading, who actually handles uh, Red Bull uh, brand in Malaysia. Oh, so um, at that time I'm the only graphic designer there. So what we call as an in-house designer, you are actually um, work directly with your client mm. and so on. However, I we uh, there are periods of time uh, where we. Uh, Collaborate with uh, agencies, mm -hmm. so I go for uh, there's two agencies that I go. One is a uh, Zeus Advertising, another one is uh, Ice Cream Production Sidiam Oh, so in there I learn much more mm -hmm. on uh, about uh, the although both are very small uh, graphic design uh, uh, production house. However, they are uh, like there's more um, exposure on graphic design. So you choose to change? Ah, uh, yeah. And then I changed to, um, I worked with the, after a while, after uh, the meeting with uh, Red Bull, uh, stuff, then uh, they just absorbed me into becoming a, uh, becoming a graphic designer there. But only like for one, uh, one year, I think, before I go and uh, do my master's in RMIT. Oh, I see. So, uh, may I ask, mm -hmm. actually, as a graphic designer for mm -hmm. Red Bull, what do you need to do? Because Red Bull, her de uh, its design is mm -hmm. like just there on me. So, uh -huh. as a graphic designer, what do you do? Oh, we have a lot of things to do. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of things to do. But um, most currently, that I involve more onto the promoting. Uh, for example, the most majority that we do is the campaign. Ah, okay. uh, we do campaigns like, for example, uh, mostly it's contest, contest campaigns and so on. Mm. And then some uh, responsibility I have to do is to uh, provide POSMs or uh, purchase of sales merchandise for them, like uh, doing a, uh, like designing the the shelves, shelf stockers, the um, fridge. And the, the oh, even fridge also you need to be Yes, there. even you know that the, which you have the fridge ones. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you have like uh, some 
stickers on top of it. Uh, mm. So that is also a part of my job as well. Oh. And that time only you mm. in the department. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, so everything you need to do. Yeah, but um, after a while, they, um, we collaborate with another um, like, um, another agency. So mm -hmm. they put me there in the agency. So that way I can see how other um, graphic works they do there. Oh, well. okay. Including so, movie posters. Oh, even movie posters. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay, so uh, what are the requirements for being a graphic designer? Um, the requirement, if I may, is actually interest on uh, on drawing. Interest on drawing, interest on all those um, something about you want to uh, entertainment and so on. In, uh, basically, it's more about how can you... Uh, how can you cope with your with your work? I mean, um, and how can you satisfy your customers' need? So, do you think time management also important? Yes, very important. Um, because in in this in industry, what we say that uh, we need to do our work three months before that thing. Huh? For three example, months. Three months. So, for example, if the celebration like Raya, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right now it's Raya, right? Mm. So your uh, POSM or everything has to be done like one month or two months before. Not include amendment yet. Not include amendment yet. Oh my god, <laughs> that's a workload. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, can you explain the difference between graphic design and interior design as our campus got provide these two courses? Oh, um, basically, um, for graphic design, we more about visuals. Mm. Visuals, something like posters, like um, like I said, mentioned earlier, POSMs, mm. um, everything that you can see visually. Yeah. Uh, that given us messages or something like that, like TV, TV commercials, um, uh, TV commercials, we have uh, posters, we have above the line and below the line advertising, all sorts of things. That is what graphic design is. Interior design, on the other hand, if I am not mistaken, is more about the design in the room itself. Mm. So, yes. do you think which workload will be like large? Uh, both are the same. Oh. I in in my in my own uh, experience, I think both mm. is the same because we are designers. Mm. We're trying to uh, do some problem solvers using uh, visuals. Mm -hmm. So. It's more like more about uh, a lot of things you need to think on. For example, if you are graphic design, how can you uh, give the right message to the right audience, for example? Mm -hmm. And then if you are an interior designer, how can you make that space to be um, breathable and how you can make the space to be livable? And also, how can uh, give satisfaction to your customer? Mm -hmm. That's what I understand. Lah. So uh, actually, just now you say uh, actually you like to uh, you like some character you like to draw mm -hmm. some character. But um, now do you still drawing the character? Uh, yeah, I still draw. I still um, I still kind of like um, want to create my own uh, comic one day. Still oh. still uh, doing that. It's just that right now I'm a bit super busy with my teaching. Yeah. So true. um, it's a bit minimal than what I used to lah. Yeah, slowly but sure lah. Surely but surely. Okay, so uh, can you share the best and worst experience that you can never forget? Okay, the best experience is when a project or a job you uh, created successfully and you can actually see it on TV or you can see it in the in the shops and so on. Oh, so um, mm. do you have a like, specific project that you really feel like you are honored to finish that? Um, that's a lot, but probably I can uh, attest when I was working on A Asia's um, the you know the the, the um. The lunch or the the, the meal, ah, yeah, meal. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, the company where I work, I work actually has that uh, kind of like they have it. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> alright. The company that I work uh, received the project, mm -hmm. and then we have like 
um, they give us uh, a lot of um, a lot of uh, things to do lah mm -hmm. for only that one. And then uh, when I feel uh, when I work on it, mm -hmm. I just work it as visual right. And then we have to color code every single every single meal that they have, which is I think more than um, forty I guess. So oh, I have wow. to pick. I have to pick uh, different different shades of colors uh -huh. for it. So they are color coded and so on. So I was like, okay, we need to. <laughs> in my file, my yeah. master file uh, in Illustrator, there's a lot of um, small, small, tiny, tiny dots that says that, okay, this is pas nasi lemak pak nasi, for example lah. Oh. <laughs> this, is, uh, uh, this is for Thailand one, right? this is one for Indonesia one. So they actually has a different uh, name. And then uh, after uh, working on that for so long, mm. and then I think one day I went and... Uh, uh, one day I went and uh, fly with A Asia, mm. and I saw my artwork there. Oh, wow. <laughs> I saw my 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 design there. I was like, oh dear. Yeah, feeling <laughs> of accomplishment. Yeah, yeah, feeling of accomplishment like that lah. Yeah. But for the worst one, um, it's uh, it's not actually the worst one. Mm -hmm. It's actually also very interesting and interesting way for us to actually to work. Where we have something for deadline, the deadline okay. is so super tight. Um, I don't remember which project is that. Mm. It's okay. We have to sleep in the office until the morning. We have to we have to work at the office until the morning. Cannot go home. Cannot go home. I think we um, we have to work until like eight a.m. Mm -hmm. Go back home for a bit, and then come back about. Um, 11 or 12 mm -hmm. to start work again. Yeah. I'm not saying that it's um, like every day. No, no, that one is only once. Because that that particular time... The uh, duration? The, huh? the duration one week or like few days? Or? Uh, just a few days. Okay. Then it's just only once. Acceptable. Time, yeah. Yeah. Acceptable, but it's not the worst. Yeah. Because I can see the boys... Uh, <laughs> I can see the boys are uh, like uh, drunk. <laughs> Because the the agency is on top of the the agency is actually on top of a pub, mm. so they we I I don't drink I don't yeah, drink of and so on of course, mm. but it's amusing to see um they were like they were drinking a bit and yeah. then they go upstairs they do work and then but one of them because he's a bit uh intoxicated and he was like <laughs> fake sad. <laughs> I was like, ayo. <laughs> <laughs> they too stressed, I think. Yeah, they too stressed. Yeah. Because of, there's a lot of works uh, and works or end deadline to be done. Mm -hmm. And it's like, like this. They are not like what we are taught in the school. Mm -hmm. They are more like, um, if the client wants it today, he wants it yesterday. Wow. That's the one of the saying. Yeah, but in the same time, you have um, different project in hand. Yes. So. Wow. Different project in hands. There is a long project, there is a short project. So the short project is the one that is uh, always uh, slot in. We yeah. try to slot in. Mm -hmm. I need to know how to prioritize the work. Yes, need to know yeah. the options to prioritize. So um, actually, um, people have some assumptions such as mm -hmm. um, becoming an IT people means, um, I mean, becoming graphic designer, mm -hmm. they are really creative and they are. Uh, life is very fun. So, do you agree with that? <laughs> um, it's yes and no. Okay. It's yes and no. It's because it's more like uh, when you become a graphic design, you are aware with your surrounding. Oh. Aware with your surrounding, aware with your uh, the events that uh, happen in oh. the world, and aware of things that you heard or seen. Because uh, graphic design is more about uh, giving the right message to the right audience, mm. right? And you have to be very aware on what is uh, current. Uh, so, although this one is not my project, uh, remember Nando's? Mm. So every time there's a meme, uh, something, something viral coming, mm. the next day, um, Nando's will get like, uh, like there is a very witty. Uh, advertisement about that 
about that uh, particular issue. So, for example, remember when it's uh, viral about the apa tu, rendang tak crispy. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. I remember when, I remember when uh, uh, during that time, I remember that um, exactly one day after that thing is viral, apa tu, Nando's keluar uh, the, the newspaper about it. Wow. The advertisement. So, so fast. So, they are designer like really like yeah. Rush and yeah. come up with the... Yeah, rush and we come up with the, with the thing. Oh my god. <laughs> but like as consumer, we, we mm. saw it, we will we'll feel like, wow, mm. Nando's really interesting and mm. the brand mm. will become um, like fa more favour to the consumers also. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, so they were more in sync with the um, current issue, I would say. Mm. Because uh, when you are doing in graphic design, because graphic design is more evolved as, uh, mm. I mean, uh, the world is evolving constantly, so we have to catch up yeah. with the, you know. So it can be fun, but also mm -hmm. like, in the same time, also very stressful. Uh, imagine mm -hmm. um, when you having even your holiday, but you're still looking at the like, advertisement or what, so mm -hmm. that you can know the your surrounding or what yes. the current trend also. So yes. actually, you didn't really um, get to relax also. <laughs> You are relaxing actually, but the thing is, uh, we love to see more um, more designs and so on. So it's oh. become a part of us. Oh. Even um, I think I remember once I went to Japan. I think mm -hmm. I keep looking on the um, what was the utility cover? Mm -hmm. Like you know the manhole or the cover, the the, the oh cover? yeah 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 the, the round cover thing on the, on the ground on the ground yeah, right. Yeah. So, uh, typically in Malaysia or in other countries, they just do the standard ones. Yeah. But in Japan, they have a logo or a design on top of it. Mm, so cute. So cute. And there's one very nice Sakura ones oh. as well. So I take pictures and so on. It's sort of like becoming an inspiration when I mean, you want to do your work. Yeah, okay. So uh, actually, if you really want to become graphic designer, you really need to love this job so much. Yes. Yeah, until it become your a uh, part of your life. Mm -hmm. I see. Make be design as a part of your life, lah. Mm. So, uh, what key challenge that you think will be faced by um graphic designer this industry in the future? Okay, if you want to talk about the future, it's because of um. How to say the emergence of AI, oh. the emergence of AI, uh, and also um, prompt-based AI, and also if I'm not mistaken, um, templates mm -hmm. from some uh, websites like Canva. Mm -hmm. They actually uh, offer some templates for the customer to actually to just do by their own, yeah. uh, and so on. So probably on that one lah. It would, it actually helps the graphic designer to do. Yeah, work actually, as well. you um, graphic designer designer also need to find the materials also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so actually, I thought it's benefit to graphic designer. It is benefit, but it's also a challenge as well for the, the designer because someone who doesn't have a background on graphic designer can actually use those things to actually to create something that we uh, toiling ourselves in lah, especially on. Uh, from base AIs, but from base AIs currently it's a bit in the grey area because they use the, uh, how to say, uh, to generate their artwork, for example, uh, to generate their artwork, they actually stole artwork from the actual artist. Ah, I see. And the computer, uh, the AI cannot generate it by its own, although it's very nice and so on. However, the copyright and also the, the copyright and the ethical use of um, AI is still not very uh, optimized yet in this So way. actually, I heard uh, an app before, mm -hmm. like actually you just need to key in the keyword that you want, yeah. then it will generate the mm -hmm. photo out. So is it the same? Yes, oh, that is the one. That one. Um, the one that I know is uh, Mid Journey. Which oh. AI and Dai 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 Oh Dao I don't remember the name. 
those are the you just put the keywords and so on mm. however uh, the problem about this one the computer it's the the ai itself cannot generate the it cannot generate its own artwork actually although when we uh, do the key uh, the uh, what we clear as keywords but it actually just copy paste or frankenstein yeah, existing yeah. artwork so it feels like it's not ethical to do it mm, i see but people say it's okay we don't need graphic designers and need anymore but mm. in reality it's not it's really jeopardized uh, graphic design yeah i think mm. people just need a better graphic designer not the graphic designer that are not really professional mm. No, no, no. Um, what we mean, mean, we mean is, we need someone who is um, creative and passionate about their work. Mm. Then, so, do you think these kind of people still mm. a lot in this world of really uh, busy? <laughs> I'm not so sure about that, but I think there's there's a there's a group of people who is really passionate about it, mm. and maybe one probably the one who did the AI thing is actually one. Help people and do it, uh, do their work more efficiently. But you know, like humans, yeah, it's true. Okay. Um, so, uh, actually, the graphic designer department plays an important role in a big company. Can mm -hmm. you tell me why is it so important? Um, how to say? Yeah, it's important because we are the ones who uh represent the company visually. Mm. Right. So, for example, on uh, we are the one who, uh, like, in one of the things in graphic design, what we call as a brand identity. Mm. Okay. So, brand identity means you are actually the one who set up how your company looks like, mm. what color that they use, um, how do they dress, mm. how um, how do they dress, how does the um, it's actually everything. It's an identity of the um, of the company, mm -hmm. especially the logo. Yeah, the it, logo. yeah. Because the logo for us is kind of like the logo is like the face of the company. Mm -hmm. So if the face that elok, macam mana you nak? How you want to yeah. uh, say or how are you going to um, to do business with other people? Mm -hmm. So that's why one of the graphic design uh, department or the agency that you are working on it's important yeah. Cuma some of the company doesn't actually uh, understand that yeah especially the small business mm -hmm. yeah yeah they um they don't understand the workload that we do oh. so like i said like, some of the some of the works that we have mm -hmm. they want it yesterday which is impossible <laughs> True. Okay. So, all right, Miss Liz, what are your advice for those who may want or interest interested to start their journey as the graphic designer? Mm, um, for my advice is more like uh, look around you. Look around you. Be aware before of what is happening to to around you. Open your eyes. Open your ears. Um, because when anyone in graphic design or as a graphic designer the most important thing is what's inside your head yeah because yeah. you need to like keep mm -hmm. on doing the work but you didn't absorb things inside then yeah. you become, yeah. mm, it's more like um it's true but it's more like we are visual people mm. so uh when your visual library in your in your head is not enough how can you do a very good outcome mm. How can you go that come? So, try to enrich your life with uh, experience, with things that uh, things that you hear, things that you see, things that you taste, uh, and also at the same time, put a little bit of you inside your design. Okay. Thank you, thank you very much, Miss Amy, for your time. I'm sure we have learned a lot from you. It's a great sharing session, I can say. So mm -hmm. I have a lot of fun had to have this conversation with you today. Thank you. With that, we will end our podcast session for today. 
once again, we thank you, Miss Amy, and um, our audience, as well as uh, for staying with us until the end. For more information of our podcast, please follow our Instagram at cjs underscore uh, 2023 underscore. See you next episode. Thank you and bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.